Is this all right? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Whew. So I've been thinking a lot about what I wanted to say, and there's been lots of soap opera leading up tonight to today. Uh, and, it, and it's sort of there are more important things. Uh, and really, I should be the last speaker because I have the most horrible things that you're going to hear. Uh, that that it, it's all this stuff we sort of really know, but pass off because there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, that each of us are carrying a, a bit of naiveness. Uh, that, that essentially the the big horror of the world and everything that you see is making everything turn into hell is in you. Uh, it, it, it's, it's the little things. It's like the, the sort of subliminal teaching that being grown up equates to learning how to lie to survive. Uh, and so there's a... Uh, a bravado needed, uh, a cavalierness towards towards mortality. Uh, you can't be afraid of dying. Essentially, we're all being held hostage because we're afraid of suffering, and we have all these attachments. And and of course, they're noble attachments, friends, family, all that. But they're being held hostage, and they're making us into psychotic slaves. Uh, gosh. It, when I was asked to speak today, uh, there was an alluding to maybe being able to say something to the people who didn't want to get arrested in whatever, challenging the, the craziness of the world. And I just started writing. I went off. Uh, that that's the problem. It's you're you're afraid to get arrested. Uh, that the world is in such a state that carrying any delusions about thinking you're going to retire, or or thinking that you can justify going on a vacation. That that. These are ridiculous delusions that you're fooling yourself, thinking that there's some sort of peace at the end of our mortality. We got a long way to go before our children or grandchildren can wake up in the morning and really know what it is to be free, to, to know that, to be able to see any lie, to see the spirit of, to, to have being really smart be normal, to be open enough to see the world as it is, to rather be dead than afraid, and wake up in the morning knowing that you have nothing to worry about and everything's taken care of and you don't have to stress about implied obligations, that you can wake up and know that you're not falling under some sort of spirit of laziness because you're not living up to the preconceptions of your deluded grandparents who we love of course we've all gone through this and we've all been deluded and we have to admit it I'm not insulting anyone's grandparents we've all been crazy we we're talking about tax reform because we can't imagine that the bigger monster can actually be put down we're, we're We've never even conceptualized living in a world where there were no taxes and we were all free and food grew on trees because we just automatically presume that that's impossible. And the problem with getting there is facing the hardest of times, biblical, the tribulation. That essentially, gosh, have patience. Love truth. There's only one universe. You can think truth can be subjective, but it's not. 
We all exist in the same place. And there are fundamental things. You can call it God, whatever. It's a singular universe. If you think about it for two seconds, it's obvious. And then become as smart as Jesus. Now that was the bolstering. Now here is the horrible truth. The, the one that is interesting and you may not want to full on believe it right away, but in your future conversations, you'll begin to have a deeper understanding of where everyone's coming from. You'll innately understand that there is no such thing as evil, so any little hates that you have are never really justified, and so every time you want to hate, you'll feel like a fool. There's a reason all the major religions have pride as their fundamental sin. And it's an objective reason. It's not about being arrogant. It's not about whatever. It's about you don't make choices. Your every thought right now can only be the thought it is. And it means everything. It means that the people that are doing the horrible things are only doing the thing that they can. It means that to hate them is a waste of everyone's time. Yeah. yeah. And so the problem is you have to rather be dead than hate them. You have to understand the objective truth that it's just absurd. And you're mortal and you're going to die anyway. And so this whole trying to live a lie to impress people in suits who are ambitious and deluded, thinking that there's some sort of financial reform that's possible. That's, and that was a good speech, and you had it up good up to halfway when the, you'll find that it's all in that one great last liberating step which is so rare and presumed impossible, just stop using money. Never pay rent again. Rather be dead than pay rent again. That's what I'm talking about. That you're a monkey on the Garden of Eden. There's no such thing as Canada. The crown, the ruler of the Commonwealth, and the ruler of the constitutional monarchy of Canada, is not a figurehead, not some little thing that, that we all think is quaint. The Commonwealth is founded by the colonizing tactic of going into places and raping every child they could get their hand on to demoralize a culture. And we think that monster's invulnerable, so we just don't pay attention to that. The, the little horror that average Joe, that our friends and family that we love, every time they pay taxes, is saying that it's okay. And so we, we think we get to have our own lives and we'll do well for ourselves and give money and survive, but that's not gonna happen. I'm going to jail, it seems, on October 31st, I'm being sentenced. The last two sentences were 40 days each. Uh, for information's sake, I don't eat in jail. Uh, the next sentence should be more than 40 days. We'll see. So I say that, that all the other causes are just busy work, however noble and thought out and intelligent and wise, and at the same time, not enough. Yeah. I'm going to jail for setting up a tent uh, because I cannot content myself in a world where you have to pay to dream. And so, yeah, I potentially am going to jail for the rest of my life to starve to death in jail on October 31st. And everyone here has a lot to think about. As long as you have Google, you have all the information of the world. 
Now have patience and figure out where the heck you want to put your focus. All right, love truth, have patience. Yes.